Finland is closing checkpoints on its border with Russia. The only way for Russians to cross the border legally is through a checkpoint in the Murmansk region, far to the north. Since August 2023, the number of illegal migrants from Iraq, Syria, Yemen and Somalia trying to get from Russia to Finland has increased dramatically. Prime Minister Petteri Orpo said that the country is ready to close its eastern border completely if national security interests require it. For us, this is this is not at this moment the question of human rights. Of course, it's human rights, but it's not a question of asylum seekers. <coughs> it's, this is a question of hybrid attack and national security. And if necessary, Finland is ready and prepared to, to take further measures in the line of national legislation and in the line of of interna international obligations. Helsinki is convinced that the Russian border guards are deliberately letting in third country nationals from their site without the necessary documents to pass the border. The mentality and character of the Russian state has not changed. Back then and today it doesn't respect international law or its obligations. Russia does not value lives, neither of its own people nor others. It believes it has the right to veto the choices of our neighbors, the right to veto even their existence. Russia respects and understands force. Russian imperialism must be responded to with force. Closing the border with the Federation is a timely decision, experts say. If Finland had not taken such measures, it would have repeated the crisis of 2021, when Moscow and Minsk sent hundreds of illegal migrants to the border with Poland. We know that the Russian border guards have stopped following their good old rule of not letting people without visas into the border area. As soon as they did, it immediately became a social media phenomena, first in Russia and now all over the global south. The news that the Finnish border is open is spreading. This makes us think that there is a high probability that a huge number of people will try to use this road. Jukka Savolainen, an expert at the European Center for Combating Hybrid Threats, in an interview with current time. Norway and Estonia have also declared their willingness to close their borders with Russia if necessary. Experts believe that the Kremlin is hesitant to engage in direct confrontation with NATO countries, which is why it is using such hybrid attacks. In this case, the first benefit is that the Russian Federation has taken the path of isolation and closed the border not by its own hands, but by the hands of its neighbors, which is advantageous for Putin's regime. This lets him say, look, it is not us who are the Williams. It is our neighbors who have turned against us. So it is a besieged fortress and it is easier for Russian propaganda to work. The second point is that the blocking of the border like this, the loosening of the migration now, is a point of tension in Europe itself. Finland has built additional fences on its border with Russia, involving the military as well as employees of the European Border and Coast Guard Agency Frontex. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.